Hello, I'm Josh and I'm here at the Arizona Science Center. And when we are open to the public, we are typically offering a liquid nitrogen demo that we do a lot of really cool things where we may make an explosive geyser, we may explore different types of bubbles for our younger friends, and we may also shatter some different racquetballs or different things. But as I'm continuing to create content for the Science Center, I realize I, as much as I love liquid nitrogen, I've never seen what happens when we put organic material, so something that is living or was alive in liquid nitrogen to explore the different properties. So I was looking around and I have an egg in my fridge, which I wanna see what happens when we take an egg and put it in liquid nitrogen. For those of you who don't know, so yeah, and you're gonna actually start to hear that bubble and start to boil because for those of you who don't know much about liquid nitrogen, liquid nitrogen is approximately negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. That's over twice as cold as the coldest day recorded ever on earth. So it's uh, pretty cold. And as we're looking at the egg continues to boil, I'm using some observations, right? An observation can be anything you see, you hear, you smell, taste. Obviously I'm not going to be tasting this egg because that doesn't seem very safe but I am using my skills of listening to make observations and I'm gonna wait until this continues to boil for just a little bit longer. And since this is my first time doing it, I have absolutely no idea how it's gonna turn out. So based on how the egg comes out once some of the boiling dies down, I'm going to actually look over and maybe this looks like I'm beginning to set up a beautiful banquet or make some dinner at home, but I really just want to use these different utensils to explore. So I have a hammer and a wooden block where I may smash it. I have a rolling pin, I have a potato masher, I have a ladle to help me get the egg with the liquid nitrogen out, as well as some tongs, a serrated knife you might find at home, a fork, and a tray where I'm gonna place it initially to start exploring the different properties. And I'm just really curious, one, what is going to happen to the shell of the egg, two, how hard or how brittle it is going to be, as well as three, what some of these different utensils are gonna do. So I'm gonna probably give it about 10 more seconds, but thank you all so much for joining us. And I'm going to go ahead and put some more protective gear on, just in case I decide to smash it, because sometimes good science involves smashing things. So, I'm going to, if you actually wanna come look in, we have some petals from a previous experiment in there, as well as you can see all of that boiling. That means that it is still actively uh, impacting and freezing the egg, but sometimes you just have to go for it. And I'm gonna try with the ladle first, bit of issues with the ladle, because eggs are slippery, so we're going to go for the tongs. So, oh, yes! So you can see as, right, eggs have a lot of water inside, so as some of the water absorbed and then expanded, you can think just how ice freezes and gets larger. Yeah, it kind of did something similar. So, I'm going to poke it once or twice. I'm going to try cutting it. And then knowing myself, I'm probably gonna end up smashing this. So we're gonna take our fork and we're gonna poke. Oh, and this is actually harder than most hard boiled eggs, but it kind of feels similar. Yeah, so you can put some force and it's not doing anything. And I'm gonna take a knife. And that is not cutting. Oh, that is not cutting at all. all right? And then I'm gonna stab the yolk. Oh, that's really cool. So that is the egg yolk frozen entirely. And now because I want to, I'm gonna take a hammer and every good smash needs a countdown. So three, two, one. Oh, that's super cool. Sorry, I ruined my job. And if you look, it looks like some of that that was still boiling it means the egg hadn't entirely frozen. So if you can see the very, very core of the egg yolk is still liquid, even though the next layer is very hard and very cold. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanna see more experiments like this, you can always go to azscience.org or tag us in social media and let us know what you think.